Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and hey, welcome to the some old guy coding's backyard here. Well, it's not really my backyard; it's mostly Barb's backyard. She's been doing a lot of work on it to uh, decorate it. We got a nice little bridge over the thistle there, big fancy shed, and uh, I, the reason we're out here today is I just wanted to say, hey, I put up a long wire antenna, so there we can see through this tree that I should be taking down here. That, you know, I've got the wire just going in through the window here and uh, another one from the ground. I don't have any lightning arrestor on there yet, but I'm thinking that, you know, when the storms come up, I'll just throw both the wires out the window. <laughs> so I've got them both fastened up to a little eye, uh, eye screw up there and and the uh, wire I did not measure. But it goes across, and I can't even see it anymore, off to a tree out there. So let's go out and take a look at that tree. While we're walking, I've been kind of interested in the software-defined radio stuff for a while. And uh, finally I picked up a, uh, a little SDR. And uh, I should have bought the kit. My recommendation to you is to buy the kit with the Ham It Up uh, um, up converter. Because I bought them separately. And it costs more money that way. So if you think you're going to be at all interested in some of this stuff, uh, certainly buy the full kit right off the top and save yourself a few bucks. And it seems to be working. I can pick up regular FM radio, uh, and then I can also pick up AM with the up converter, um, regular AM broadcast. But uh, as of yet, I haven't picked up uh, anything else other, anything else particularly interesting than uh, maybe a few uh, data sources or something. Um, and there is the uh, weight that I have on the other end here. But I'll keep playing with it and learning the software. So one thing I want to uh, show is you can just look at, search online for, oh, don't fall down. Search online for um, a long wire antenna view uh, diagram to hang it up in the tree. I wish I could have hung it up far off farther. That's as far as I could have got it. And I've got the wire running through the pulley uh, down to a uh, weight that is tied on down here with a lot of extra wire that I probably should remove. You know, it probably should be a rope running through there instead of the antenna wire itself. But in any case, uh, we'll give her a try. So what is this thing that I'm using for a weight? This is uh, uh, designed to be a, a weight that you fill a full, bag full of sand that you uh, put out to hold down your um, tent or a... Uh, you know, a banquet tent or something like that. And I ended up with several of these because my wife wanted to do some outdoor sales a couple years ago. So we had one, had two actually. So you gotta put something in here to weigh it down, of course. And of course, over on the shed, I didn't notice that we had um, a bag of uh, gravel or rocks. So I was in the garage here trying to uh, find things to put in it. And what did I find? I found an old IDE drive. And I found a humongous old SCSI drive. So, <laughs> what's in the weight on your long wire antenna? So, that's just kind of interesting, I thought. Uh, also, I hoisted the uh, pulley with, uh, with another rope here and fastened it to the uh, side of the tree. And just kind of you know, tied a knot on there to hold it down around that uh, attached a. Uh, um, you know, like they have on boats. I don't know what they're called to attach a rope to the side of the boat. So there it is. So far, so good. Nothing's falling apart. Um, I'll post the wire that I got here. It was a fairly, fairly heavy duty wire. And uh, nothing too interesting to listen to yet that I found. I'm still working on it. Like I said, I'm learning the software. And I uh, just wanted to. Just wanted to let you know, it's something, a little something else that I've been working on lately. And, you know, being we're all hunkered down in, uh, in the protection of the, uh, the virus here, it's one more thing to be able to do and poke around with. The snow's almost gone here, and it is uh, 
Uh, it's the first day of spring, so we're almost there. It'll get there by June. <laughs> Thanks for watching. But wait, don't go yet. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash coding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.